Welcome, welcome to Home Keepers. Oh, how are you today, my friend? Grab a cup of tea and just join us for a while. I'm so glad you're there. And uh, perhaps you've never seen this program before. Well, I hope the name explains what we're all about. And that is something that this nation needs more than anything else. That's Home Keepers, that we really care what's going on in our homes. And so uh, we're going to talk about something important today, and that's the keeping the people inside the home healthy. But I don't want to neglect those regular viewers who are out there, whether you're brand new or whether you're with us all the time. You are so welcome. You have no idea how much we appreciate your being there. Well, I'm having a guest today that I've wanted to get for a long time because uh, I interviewed her husband earlier this year with an uh, incredible story about a product that we have offered on this program before called the Young Power Shake had helped uh, his daughter who had looked like she was facing a lifetime of crippling painful arthritis and uh, she began to take this shake and she's just doing so well now here's the interesting part of the story her mother is a pediatrician so I wondered what, you know, a medical doctor who works with children all the time and when someone comes in with arthritis and they know what's down the road, I just want to find out everything that uh, she was thinking and then what in the world she thought of taking this shake and then the child got so much better. So Karen Hotchkiss is with me today and she is a pediatrician and so um, it's not hard to interview a good doctor, is it? So we're going to talk to her about her daughter, Joy. But before I go to the kitchen and um, just demonstrate one of these shakes, I want to give you a little information, and we're going to show you some information about this shake and give you a little history on it. Take a look. Something old and wonderful has just become something new and improved. More than four decades have passed since the discovery of the miraculous healing combination of protein and flax oil. The legendary doctor and scientist Johanna Budwig discovered that this simple formula had a profound effect on blood cells vulnerable to disease. Since most chronic disease starts at the cellular level, many consider this a major scientific breakthrough. Enter Dr. John Young, founder of Young Foundational Health Center. Dr. Young's vast medical experience at home and abroad gives him an elevated status in the field of health today. Dr. Young reached a point of frustration in his career as the prevailing conventional wisdom in medicine was a tendency to just treat the symptom with medication, never getting to the root of the problem. This frustration led him to a detailed study of the work of Dr. Budwig. By taking this basic formula, Dr. Young added the powerful antioxidants of fruit of the spirit and essential minerals to establish the Young Power Shake. His goal was to rebuild his patient's overall health from the ground up, starting at the cellular level. Take a look at these inspiring statistics. Hal J, age 56, suffered from neuropathy of the legs and feet, and after seven weeks on the program, his symptoms have decreased drastically. Millicent M, age 67, was on several diabetes medications, and after nine weeks, she was taken off all of her medications. Tamara S, age 71, had severe hypertension and was taken off all of her blood pressure medications after just six weeks. These testimonies offer proof positive the value of this timeless formula. Isn't it time for you to live your life in better health? Just call that number on your screen and request this amazing old but new tried and true powerful health enhancer, the Young Power Shake. Call the number on the screen right now to request the Young Power Shake. For just $149.95, you will receive a month's supply of high-quality protein, the special blend of flax and fish oils, those all-important alkalizing minerals, and the amazing antioxidant mix of biblical ingredients, fruit of the spirit. Call now and receive free shipping on your monthly order. Start living your life in better health. Call now. All right, I'm over here all by myself today. Stephanie uh, had an appointment. So uh, let's take you through. Some of you have uh, seen us make this shake before, but there are so many that have not, so we will do it again. Let me talk to you a little bit about, you know, the best way to do it. I'm going to do it with this, uh, this uh, nutri it's that bullet thing that I think you could get moisture out of a rock with it, really. This is great. That's a, uh, just a small GE, about... Um, twenty dollars or so and then a lot of you just have these regular ones that'll work so let's put the thing together and uh, we'll start out with a little almond milk there's 
a lot of different things you could do here. Uh, I was going home from the office the other night. I was not in the mood to be in the kitchen or anything. I fixed one of these for my meal, so there you go. This is the uh, fruit of the spirit that's got all these wonderful uh, ingredients that are from the land of the Bible. It's got uh, frankincense and myrrh in it. Figure that out. Then this wonderful, rich, rich uh, oil. Is the, you want about a tablespoon of this. And these balancing, I was a asking Dr. Young about these, that you need this to balance out the fat or something. You know, 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so to speak, okay? Those are the things that will come, uh, you know, when you order this. And then you want a scoop of this marvelous, marvelous protein that has not been heated too much. Now, from here, you want to make it kind of uh, tasty because so far, it's not real tasty. I've got some blueberries here. I usually use blueberries when I'm at home because I read somewhere they're good for your brain. God knows I need that, but in the, today I was in the mood for some strawberries, so we're going to put a bunch of those in here, and I use a little banana. I think Dr. Young says if you're diabetic, you don't want to do the banana, but I'm not diabetic, thank God. All right, and I think that's about it. Now, I did hear, too, that he doesn't totally object, although it's not his favorite thing, that if you have a child that you have a hard time with, He'll let you put a little bit of chocolate in it, but probably you could keep them happy with the fruit. All right, and then I, I like a lot of uh, ice in mine. This has kind of gotten, got to pound it a little bit, get some in there. This is, you know why the ice machine's upstairs? It's not here, so we had to bring it down. But I'll get a little bit in there. There we go. And that's it. I don't know who invented these things, but they should certainly be canonized. They're wonderful. Look at that. There we go. And I don't know if you can see what that looks like. It's just beautiful. And let me taste it for you. Oh, my. Oh, my. And when you think how healthy this is, you will want it and the testimonies keep coming in how beneficial this is and remember it's from a very very old recipe from the turn of the century actually and and you know the what i like about dr young when he comes up against something he's, he likes to go and say what did the old guys do and that's what he did with this so he took the the protein and the fats and just improved upon them uh, make it better for us and easier so that's the way you put it together, friends. It's not rocket science. If I could do it, anybody could do it. So stay with me. I want you to meet my special guest, uh, Dr. Karen Hotchkiss, and hear the story about her daughter, Joy. It's one of the best I've ever heard. Stay with us. Arthelene would like you to keep the following information handy. You may contact Homekeepers by writing P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758, or go to www.rippy.org. Remember, we always enjoy hearing from our viewers, and we thank you for your support. All right, Karen Hotchkiss is a specialist with children, eye, ear, nose, and throat. Ear, nose, and throat, correct. Oh, gee. It's a mouthful. Otolaryngologist <laughs> I know, but wouldn't other. it be easier to be, you know, to treat the whole thing? Because I can imagine these little kids that come in and you say, open your mouth or look in their ears. God bless you, lady. That. Thank you. In fact, I, I did want to um, ask you about at what point in your life when you were a little girl did you think you wanted to go into medicine? I did. did I, had a, I had a great role model. My father was a physician. Uh, but interestingly, my grandmother was diabetic and had a lot of cardiac issues, and I could see so much how she would improve if nutrition played a bigger role in her life. And so early on, I knew that I wanted to give my life to healthcare and to and, encourage uh, people. And to children. Uh, of course, a pretty lady like you might be easier, uh, but if you've got a big doctor, you know, and you bring a little kid in, they might start screaming, certainly if they get a shot or something. So I don't think you chose the easiest. 
I do. So what God chose for me. I didn't <laughs> think I would be looking up people's noses for the rest of my life. But. What was it? What was your philosophy? Because I, I am seeing sitting in this chair, a trend like like Dr. Young, mm -hmm. he's a medical doctor, but he's he's going a different route instead of just writing out prescriptions all the time. Is that your philosophy? Well, you know what's changed is when my child got sick and the traditional medicine didn't work. And is so that right? Really introducing us to Dr. Young and some alternative medication and nutrition practices really opened my eyes as a medical provider that there's more out there than what we learn in medical school. I want you to tell your story now. Uh, it's just one of the greatest that I've ever heard. Nobody could tell it like the mother, and this has so many little twists and turns in, I think, but uh, your husband told me, and I will take it from there, you, your daughter was about two years old when she right. said, I can't walk or something? Right, so I actually, I had just finished my med medical training. I did my medical school at University of Florida. I came to the University of South Florida for my surgical training. I spent a year at Johns Hopkins doing my pediatric ENT training and had just moved back and started practice and actually I'll never forget it was a Thursday morning and I was in the operating room already off to work and my husband called which was kind of abnormal because he knew it was my operating time and so he didn't call unless there was something really urgent and I could tell by his voice something was very mm -hmm. wrong and he said that our daughter couldn't walk and so um, I could tell in his voice he was scared something and she was, was in right. a lot of pain she was she was crying she would not um, get out of bed he, could, he couldn't put her down. She had to be carried everywhere. Um, at that time, we didn't know what was the problem, but looking back, her joints were so swollen and so inflamed that any time she tried to walk, it hurt. So, but up to that point, you had no idea there was anything wrong? No, she'd been perfect, just like any other two-year-old child, running, playing, doing all the normal things, meeting her developmental milestones. And what was the diagnosis then? Um, the diagnosis at that time is we thought she may have had a septic joint. She had a bunch of swelling in one of her knees, and so we thought she just had a rare infection, maybe from a cold, that something had settled in the joint. Um, so we actually spent three weeks on a PICC line with IV antibiotics, and, um, but that obviously didn't take us down the right path. And it was arthritis? It, it took us about three months to get that diagnosis. Is and that right? Yeah. Um, pediatric rheumatologists are actually a very rare subspecialty, and at the time there were only about three providers in the state. And so we um, went through multiple tests, multiple treatment, and finally, actually an infectious disease doctor said, I don't think this is infectious. Let's look for some inflammatory markers. And that's how we made the diagnosis. So a bit frustrating, especially being a mother in medicine, mm -hmm. um, specializing in, in pediatric subspecialties, and that was off my radar. So we were all taken aback. Uh, I would imagine that a two-year-old with arthritis is quite rare. Maybe that's why there aren't a lot of pediatric Believe it or not, <laughs> it's about one in a million. So oh, we, really? we do joke because she's our one in a million. Yeah. Um, so if you put the whole greater Tampa Bay area, that's seven children in the yeah. whole Bay area. So Now, you, our viewers probably ahead of us because we're going to be talking about this uh, young power shake, but your husband, how did he find, he's the one that, he did. Introduced so, uh, the family. So to, to it. fast forward a little bit, we went through seven years of traditional medication, <gasps> which, seven years. which for Gosh. a child meant we were taking trips to a, a university about two hours away um, to get treatment. Um, in between, we were on weekly injections. So here, here's my little child having to get shots every week. Um, and it's, at one point, her medication stopped working. I had no idea, but apparently after four or five years of Embril, which is what we were on, you can go through burnout, which means that class of medications completely stops working. And she was in an acute pain crisis. And when I say pain, I mean, she said to me, Mom, my pain is a 27 out of 10. I mean, just she was just screaming, could not get comfortable, even with prescription pain medication. She was absolutely miserable. Um, so we tried the next class, and our rheumatologist said, this is the last class. We have nothing else after this. Let's hope it works. And after the fourth um, injection, and the injections were a big deal. We had to go to an infusion center, and she had to sit with an IV and for oh an eight-hour injection. I know what that is. And she was having some side effects from the other medications because she was really on really high dose steroids to, to try and bridge the gap. Um, it was clearly not working, and we were beside ourselves. How in the world did you feel? Because in medicine, you you know too much <laughs> when it comes to <laughs> something like this. And and looking ahead, I've got a daughter here that is things are not working right, right now, so it's going to get more intense, right. more intense, more pharmaceuticals, more right. more shots. Right. Uh, it, it was a very dark time. It, there was not a lot of hope 
on the radar. The other thing that I've always been concerned about as a mom is when you read the side effect profile of mm -hmm. cancer and um, you know, wondering if I'd ever have grandchildren from her or if she would develop cancer as a teenager. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very scary, very real. I, I can't imagine uh, the heartache. Well, I can in a way. I've had sick children, but um, when they're that little and they have arthritis, mm -hmm. it just uh, just doesn't seem right. Yeah. You're not uh, supposed to get that till you're really right. old. Right, and the thing she keeps saying is, this is not fair, Mom. Why <laughs> me? This is not fair. Bless her heart. How old so, is she now? She's nine. Mm -hmm. So so seven, I, I, he probably told me that, but I read seven years. Yeah, seven years. Just looking and hoping and praying right. and medication. And, and the, the interesting thing about the type of arthritis she has is um, most juvenile arthritis will actually burn out as the children get older or hit puberty, but she has a type that's not supposed to burn out. It's supposed to be lifelong. So... You know, seeing that and hearing that our medication had burnt, it had had exhausted itself. We were really thinking there was not a lot of alternative or hope out there for us. Now, was it your husband who met Dr. Young? He did yeah. through a friend at work, uh, knew Dr. Young and had heard of the shake and was very involved. And um, so my husband came home one day and said, "Hey, I, I hear something we should try." And at this point, uh, traditional medicine was not working for mm -hmm. us, and we were both very open-minded uh, he probably more so than I was and uh, my charge to him was I will do anything you want me to do as long as it makes scientific sense well that that's been my question mm -hmm. uh, ever since I've known the story is what was your impression because hey you've been to school <laughs> right you're bringing in this stuff you mix up you know right uh, well interestingly were you very very skeptical um healthy skepticism but I also knew we had nothing else to look at. Mm -hmm. And so if this was a glimmer of hope, I was going to cling, cling to that. Um, interestingly enough, just to set the tone, is the very last visit that we had just completed with our rheumatologist, my husband had said, is there a role for diet or nutrition in this disease? And uh, we were told absolutely not. I know, I know. So <laughs> we definitely knew it was a long shot, uh -huh. uh, but at least we had a shot. And that was more than we had had for the past two months. So uh, you mixed it up for her. How, how does she like it? Because, like I said, when I fixed one there, you get it to a certain point, and mm -hmm. then you mm -hmm. do it the way you like it. She actually does very well. The first week, we were very rigid and by the book, and um, you know, did just the protein and just the, the drops and just the oil. And, and the flavor, when you come from a society that eats a lot of sugar, mm -hmm. the, the, pro the protein is really high, but the sugar is only three grams. Mm -hmm. So the nice thing is it's a very low sugar shake, unlike something like an inshore mm -hmm. that's really sweet tasting. And so um, at first that was a little bit different, but I love the line when Dr. Young said to us, especially when we're dealing with a child, get the good stuff in everything else will come later. So he said, if you have to sweeten it or you have to flavor it, that's mm -hmm. okay, just get the good stuff in. And so we were able to cook a little bit, do some gastronomy at home and add some things or take some things out that, that flavored mm -hmm. for her. And so now she switches between chocolate shakes or vanilla shakes and she'll, she'll make her own. She should try my strawberry banana. Oh, and the blueberries are mm -hmm. great too. Um, okay, now, so she starts taking it. What happened? Right. So I'm the skeptical scientist. So I have my journal out and I'm journaling every day exactly what she's eating and what's her pain. And the poor thing, we badgered her to death every morning, every night. What's your pain? You know, 10 out of 10. And we really went from a 10 out of 10. And Arceline, I could not believe my eyes. Over 20 days, we went from a 10 out of 10 to eight to sevens. We got some sixes. And before I knew it, we were a zero out of zero. In 20 pain. days? 20 days. 20 oh days. Oh my goodness. And journaled every day of what we were doing. And it was amazing. And you could see her joint swelling reducing. I would check her flexibility of her joints. It was amazing. She went from a very stiff ankle to full flexion extension, which was absolutely amazing. Uh, I want to get this uh, number on the screen there uh, and call that number because this is an incredible testimony and it's certainly worth a try. Uh, arthritis is just rampant. It's mm -hmm. epidemic. This is a little unusual with a child this young. But did you just not believe what you were seeing 20 days after a child has seven years mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. torment? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was torment. Yeah. Um, you know, interestingly, my husband and I are very strong in our faith. Mm -hmm. And um, this pain crisis had felt a lot like the first one. And I said, God, make sure we use this one. I said, mm -hmm. I'll go through this. I'll do whatever you want, but let's mm -hmm. use this for something good. Mm -hmm. And so I felt like when this answer came to us, 
something we did not expect at all um, that he was giving me Praise a charge <laughs> as a mom and as a physician to get the word out of how important and how critical nutrition is, especially for a child or a person who may live, do what I call live on the edge. She's my child who lives on the edge. Her body walks a very fine line. And so for her, she can't have the extra carbs or the extra junk food that maybe somebody else's body mm -hmm. can. She needs every bit of that protein and nutrition to make her body work right. Do you use this in your practice now? Do you recommend it? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. This has absolutely changed the way that I practice because, again, I see so many children or families, for that matter, who come in who what I call walk that line where they don't have any room for mm -hmm. error. And so building the foundational blocks of nutrition that they need, mm -hmm. getting the protein in, getting the oils in so that their cells can function to the best of their ability really sets the foundation for these children. Well, I, I, I'm really struck by the fact that you ask a rheumatologist, I mean, they, they go to school a long time. We all go to school a long time. And, and, um, and does diet yeah. play any part? No. Um, and I'm not being critical. It just needs to be included in whatever they're learning. And uh, so when you begin to work with this, mm -hmm. did you go back to your books and say, what, what is the scientific basis? Why should this work? Well, absolutely. And that's what was so wonderful about the opportunity we had to meet with Dr. Young. And luckily, it was at the end of his day, and I came in a very quiet, skeptical mom and mm -hmm. let my husband do the talking. And after the first hour, I was so en enthralled, I couldn't stop asking questions. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Young was so wonderful and I think he found out I was a physician and we were like two kids going at it uh -huh. talking about the biology and so sure enough I went home and I read and he gave me some books and um, absolutely it just reemphasized everything we learned. Well I knew about this before I met him because my daughter was diagnosed with cancer so I'm reading every book I can mm -hmm. and I stumble onto this Johanna Budwig mm -hmm. who uh, came up with the protein and the mm -hmm. fat thing and then when I met Dr. Young I thought wow this only validates Absolutely. what that lady did back really at, at, mm -hmm. the, uh, at the turn of the century. Mm -hmm. So how is uh, Joy today? Praise God, we are six months medication free. She is fantastic. And the other thing that comes with arthritis that most arthritis sufferers may realize is that it's not just the arthritis, it's the weak muscles. So we were in physical therapy for that. We had been in occupational therapy for handwriting because she couldn't make her letters properly to do well in school. Um, we were also seeing a counselor because there was a lot of why me, this isn't fair going on. And so we are six months out. She is absolutely medication free and just got discharged from her last therapy group to saying she's doing great. Oh so man, it, what, it has been what a, a huge testimony. blessing for our family. What a testimony. And I just, uh, this is the first one I've had a first testimony about arthritis, especially mm -hmm. one so young and all. But uh, I've interviewed others, uh, gentlemen with uh, diabetes, mm -hmm. on, uh, type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. Dr. Young's success with that is huge. Mm -hmm. I think it was around 85% or something. Mm -hmm. And so um, it just proves that what God started out with still works. Yeah, and it makes sense. You know, the body needs the good things to function, whether the end result is a di diabetic or you know, cardiovascular disease or arthritis, but the body needs those building blocks to prevent going down that road. And so if we can back up a step or two and provide the body with what it needs, those end results can certainly be reversed or lessened. Let me ask, um, when you went through school mm -hmm. and even your father, I know all that probably influenced you a lot. Was there any teaching at all, any classes on diet, and food, and vitamins? And that? Um, certainly the basics. I mean, you need to know what B12 is, so how it works. Um, I think now, looking back, I have a, a much greater perspective to say, I don't think it's emphasized as um, enough. Mm -hmm. I think we spend a lot of time in pharmacology in mm -hmm. third year figuring out how to fix the problem. Mm -hmm. But I really think, and I think that the lay media and healthcare is also realizing if we can prevent the problem in the first place, we're going to do a lot more good. Mm -hmm. for people. Do you see a trend at all in the medical world? Absolutely. I do think that we're becoming more open-minded to realize the importance of preventative health care. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can come out swinging in the first inning, it's a lot easier than to try and catch up in the ninth inning. And th this is this is a doctor, but also she's a mom, <laughs> and <laughs> and that's what this show is all about. And when I heard the story, I 
I thought, boy, this is great because here's here's a doctor and she's she's going to study it and she's going to mm -hmm. get the books out mm -hmm. and all that. But more importantly, you're a mom and you were looking ahead to possibly a daughter in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Just uh, never ever be able to fulfill mm -hmm. life as she should. So, were you just shocked? When, when did it dawn on you in those 20 days? When did it dawn on you? We, we got something going on here. You know, about day seven. We really? Could, yeah, that soon? Yeah, that soon. Day seven. Well, the other thing, Arthleen, is because of the pain, she was having night terrors every night. So she was waking up crying in pain. And so, you know, after weeks and weeks of this, if she's crying, well, we're obviously up too. And so after about five or six nights of getting a good night's sleep, I looked at my husband and said, I think we're on to something here. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. So, um, yeah, we were just absolutely overwhelmed. Dr. Young had said, you know, give it two to three weeks and you'll know. And um, I thought, well, okay, great. We'll, we'll change the diet. We'll try something. Um, and I, you know, I knew her diet was not great. The other, the other thing is because she had had a lot of gastrointestinal um, issues. Constipation was huge. Mm -hmm. She was very picky and very sensitive to food. So at that point, we were just happy if she was eating anything. Mm -hmm. So really, her diet was pretty poor because I was just concerned about getting calories. Yep. Her. Yep. So. And that number has been on your screen. I hope that you have uh, really taken a lot out of this, this wonderful, wonderful testimony. And it's just so good to have such a up story and to think it's so simple and to think that the results came around so quickly. So that number is on your screen right now. If you would like to order this, I, I hope you tuned in when we were uh, demonstrating how to put the shake together. It is so easy. You can use it for meal replacement. You could use it more than once a day, except uh, you probably don't want to use the oil more than once a day because it's got some calorie content in it. But something that's so healthy that's going to nourish that body um, as God. God designed this body, you know. I heard one old guy say, you know, we made out of dirt. We need things, eat the things that come out of the dirt. So you need those natural things. And you've heard a testimony today. And I hope you'll take advantage of what we've shown you today. God bless you. Please, please remember, there's no higher calling than that of a homekeeper. God bless you. If you would like a video copy of today's Homekeepers program for just $19.95, call 1-800-229-0059 for credit card orders or send a gift of at least $19.95 to Homekeepers, P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758. Be sure to note the program number which appears on your screen.